what's up y'all it's your girl jacayla a and i'm back with another nail tutorial on the beautiful practice hand today instead of just sticking the tips into the practice hand and because they're so long i just stick them in and then cut them to my desired length i realized i wasn't getting the true length that i wanted to get so to preserve some of the length of the tips i'm using i'm using these faux nail bed tips that you can purchase at red iguana that's where i got them and i think they come in clear too i i could be wrong but i couldn't imagine that they wouldn't come in clear i don't know i just got the natural ones and they give like an illusion of a nail bed and they can preserve the length of the tips that i'm using so i can do a longer set so i'm just finding the sizes and sticking them in making sure they're snug these are the tips that i'm using they're the same tips i've been using i just haven't been using the faux nail beds so i'm going in with the kds glue to secure these to the tip of the faux nail bed tips and it is definitely as you can see going to elongate the nail set that i can do so i really do like this method i don't know why i wasn't doing this before but yeah i really do like it So after I cut it to my desired length, I do want to crispy up the edge for a, you know, really sharp square shape. I go across where the two tips meet a little bit, but I'm not really worried at all about doing prep in this video. That's not what this video is about. I am here trying to crispy up that square shape a little bit, but mostly this video is about application and trying out different designs. I'll save the steps with prep and how to make nails last for when I do videos with my clients um, on a natural hand, on a real hand. And I have a bunch of those up on this channel. Here's all the stuff I use. This is a IGL Beauty Gel Polish in Barbie Frosting, a true hot pink. Speed Clear from Young Nails, a pink glitter from Meraki Nails. I don't know the name or number. I have Young Nails Cover Blush, beautiful glitter nude. And I have also Young Nails Speed Clear. I didn't show it here. And this is the Not Polish Hot Pink in M slash 10. So when I'm doing these videos, as always, I don't really know what I want to go for. I almost always use glitter just because it's a personal fave. I don't know if I could really do a set without glitter if it's a freestyle. It's just so versatile. You can throw it on as an accent. You could do a whole nail, as so I'm going to do here. This pink glitter is gorgeous. I don't know um, if they have different packaging over at Meraki Nails, which I know I have a lot of these powders. I use them all the time. I bought them when I bought the whole collection. I think it was in 2019, and none of them had names and none of them had numbers but like i said they probably have new packaging they probably changed that since then um but i don't know i am using my monomer glam and glitz and i'm using my brush size 12 from nail supply glamour and i'm just going with the flow whatever comes to me will be what happens and the design is just gonna come from the top of my mind what i did know before i started doing it is that i really wanted to get into some cow print I love, love, love the cow print. I think it's really simple and easy, but it's effective and cute. And it's just a really simple, but it comes across really adorable to me. I love the cow print. So I knew I wanted to do that. But aside from that, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the application and enjoy the design. And I'll check back in.
Now we all know that there's like a metal device that can help you do deep French and like shallow French and, and different types of French cuts really easy, but I'm really trying to practice and learn how to do them just freehand. This was my first time ever doing a French freehand on a long nail. Um, I've done it shorter or, or let me see. This is my first time doing a deep French freehand. I've done the short version, but this was my first time doing the longer version like this. And I mean, it was okay. It turned out very, very pretty in the end, but it's definitely a learning curve. And I'm going to keep practicing this because this is a very simple, when you practice it, it can be a very simple and very effective, um, nail design i love deep french i love french cuts i love v cuts and i just really want to get really good at doing them freehand and not having to use a tool or not having to use an exacto knife i don't know if you can do a french v without an exacto knife just because you want to get that clean sharp sharp line but i'm really trying to perfect my um french without the cutting tool because I feel like it's it's a time saver if you don't use the cutting tool. And I really want to be able to do it. But like I said, even though I'm just practicing and I'm just learning, I think that the result here in the end is still end up really pretty.
it was some inconsistencies in my application so it made me a little lumpy and bumpy final result it wasn't as smooth as the other three nails so i ran that hand file right over the french nail and got it right even it was really not even a big deal at all i love using the hand file for a finish on this practice hand it does not always make for the most convenient thing when i'm with a client this cross cut bit that i'm using now is a little bit faster and more convenient when i'm with a client but on this practice hand i love using the hand file to finish it's super convenient And y'all, I am loving finishing the nails with the sanding band. The same one that I used to prep. I go back over and finish with the sanding band. I even do it with my actual clients now. It is very fast and it's giving you the same result as if you were to use a buffer. So, yeah, I forgot where I had told y'all I saw this. I think it was on Instagram. Maybe it was on here. I don't know. But I saw somebody do it and now I do it. And so that's what I'm doing here. Just getting all those little scratches off with the sandy band. I love this step as a finish file step. And here I am with my Barbie frosting from IGL Beauty. It's the pink color. And my white from Valentino. I love Valentino's um, white and black polish. I don't have any of the colorful ones, but the white and black perform very well and so i'm just going in sporadically and randomly making a cow print i love the cow print so simple and so cute it's something about it that's just so girly to me and i really loved how the white looked on top of this m10 acrylic and i love how the pink barbie frosting color looked on top of the white i would actually do my nails all white and then do cow print over all of them with the pink i thought it was so cute Here I am trying to get this gel or this glue out of the squeeze tube. This is the Zule nail adhesive in the squeeze tube. It's new, so that's why it was kind of giving me a little problem at the beginning. Just trying to get it out. I'm using SS30 ABs, non Swarovski, in different shapes. So I got these big circles. They are SS30s, and then I have shapes as well. A diamond shape, a teardrop shape, and a butterfly shape. And then I'm going in between those shapes because I wasn't quick enough to catch it while it was still wet. I'm going in between applying a little bit more glue and applying hot pink um, non Swarovski SS6, I do believe, in between. My top coat is Beatles Top Coat, a generous amount because, you know, the nails are so long. 
So I'm going in and just really, really brushing that in, making sure it gets in between all the cracks of the design, making sure I get all sides of the nail. And the top coat is always just really brings it to life. I do regret not putting any bling on this finger. I did not want to cover up all the work I did with the French. So I was like, no, I'm not going to put a, no bling on this finger. I could have put some cuticle bling on this finger though. And that would have set it off. But yeah, y'all, I really love how the look came together. Oh, one other thing is that I didn't put top coat underneath this glitter nail with all the bling on it. It would have popped way better if I would remember to do that. I do that with all of my clients, but I just forgot today. But yeah, y'all, let me know if y'all want any questions. If y'all have any questions about any products used, I'll link below as many as I can. The look came out really, really pretty in the end. I really did love it. If y'all like the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. And here is the final product. Let me know below how y'all like it, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.